What's the thing that made you go, yep, fashion is going to be a big part of my life? What is your opinion on Rick Owens' Dark Shadow? Are you a lesbian? And if so, do you like the femme or tomboy type? What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. <laughs> and as you guys can tell by the title, today is going to be a Q&A. Shout out to the angel that gave me this idea. So yeah, I went to my Instagram and I'm like, ask me questions, ask me whatever. And you guys literally ask me whatever. And shit, I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna answer. Y'all know me, I'm pretty much like an open book. Hola, 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 hola. Before we get into this video, please, 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 y'all, make sure you give this video a like, especially if you enjoy my content and you don't ever like, please give it a like. Give it a like, it's free. Subscribe if you've been watching my content and you haven't already, please subscribe. So yeah, it's crazy because I did not expect to get this many questions. I got like 22 questions and I expected to get like one. <laughs> so shout out to everybody that sent me a question. Thank you so much. And all of the questions I have written down, um, I didn't put too much like answers down because I feel like I can just say this off the back of my head. But uh, when it came to like questions about like best neighborhoods to shop or anything like that, I did write some things down. But anyway, first question is best neighborhood for shopping in NYC. And I would definitely say Soho, uh, probably the Nolita area. Dumbo, I say Dumbo because my favorite store is in Dumbo, Front General Store. I freaking love that store. It's owned by this like Japanese guy. He's like there every time I'm there. And yeah, the store is freaking great. They make like post-war, not make, but they like have like post-war type pieces from like Russia in like the 50s, the 60s. And also with other little quirky stores around that area, like across the street. I know it's a husband and wife that own this little jewelry store that I thought was kind of cute. And then, or not, I don't know why I be throwing shades. I stay saying kinda in love. That is cute, it's cute. And then for thrifting, if you're into thrifting, I would definitely say go check out the Bronx, My Unique, and also Queens, My Unique, which I have been dying to get back to the Queens, My Unique. I've been there once <laughs> since I've been living in New York because Queens is just so damn far away. But one of these days, I'm definitely gonna set aside some time to go not only to thrift, but also to get tacos because Queens is a really good place for Mexican food and I love Mexican food. Second question is your opinion on Swedish fashion. Also, come to Stockholm, you would love it. This summer, I am going to be taking a trip to Europe and I plan to visit as many countries as I can and Stockholm is definitely one on my list. My opinion on Swedish brands is that they are freaking phenomenal. I love Swedish aesthetic. I think that it's so clean and just so classic and most Swedish brands, I feel like they make those, again, classic pieces that you really need in your wardrobe or you've been trying to find a perfect button up. Like Totem, for instance, is one of those brands that come to mind when I think of like the Swedish aesthetic, which is like very clean, like not so much color and just very versatile in like anyone's wardrobe. So I would say yes, definitely here for the Swedish fashion. I freaking love Swedish fashion and definitely gonna be taking pics when I do go to Sweden because I already know y'all gonna be dressed. Do you have your eye on any good leather bags? So the bag that I've had my eye on, honestly, for the longest is the Moon Bag by The Row. And when I was working up East Side, y'all, I, I kid you not, every other person had the, the Moon Bag by The Row. Probably because The Row is on the Upper East Side and that's probably why I seen the bag so much because everybody was probably going there and getting that little bag because it's so cute. But that kind of turned me off to getting it because I'm just like, damn, I see it everywhere. But I will say, now that I'm working in Soho, I live in Harlem, I don't see the bag as much as I did when I was on the Upper East Side. So now I'm starting to come back around and look at the Moon Bag by the Row again. Um, of course, I want to get that mug on sale because I think it's like $12.50, $13, 14 one of those. So yeah, that bag. And also, I've still been eyeing the Croissant Bag by La Mer. Um, actually, someone who came into our store today, the store that I work at, was wearing the croissant bag. And I'm like, oh, and she had it in like brown leather. And I'm like, oh, I want this bag. Mainly because the leather is like really lightweight. She was telling me that she could fit like a laptop in it. She had the, like the large croissant. I would probably want the medium croissant. I like love hair things like that about things that I want. I love to find that they're practical, not only like aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but it's also functional. So I would definitely say 
If you want an item and you see someone wearing it, go up to them and ask them, like, how do you like this bag? What is the pros and cons? Real quick, real quick. Yeah, I just feel like before investing, like, you want to get as much information as you can on an, on an item or really just dig inside and be like, am I really going to use this? Does this really serve purpose in my life? I feel like that's part of the reason why I've definitely been holding off on the moon and the croissant bag. Not because I see it everywhere mainly, but... I'm just like, will this service me? But I feel like the moon bag, I will say, is a really nice size for every day. I feel like you can fit your everyday essentials, little phone, little lip gloss, little car holder. That's really all you need. What's on your fashion whistlet? Wish, oh, it's, it's the wine whistlet. What's, what's on your fashion wish list? Um, I would definitely say these Parenza Schooler loafers. I love the freaking squirts. Oh, and honestly, I've never considered a white loafer, but these mugs in white is everything everything especially i wear a lot of black i wear a lot of just like gray like dark colors i'm like a little white loafer don't sound too bad but obviously black would probably be more practical so probably the black pair unless they sold out then shit, i would do the white um, what is your dream role job within the fashion industry so this question really got me to thinking um because it's just really hard for me to pinpoint and it's been hard for me to pinpoint most of my life, which is why I'm here on YouTube because I feel like this is my end into the fashion industry. Um, I would say though, like, I feel like most people would be like, why don't you be a stylist? Like you should, you should totally be a stylist. And I don't know, I've had stylists as friends. I've seen, I've worked with stylists and I just feel like it's a lot of running around. You know, the look, once the look is finished and the model gives what they're supposed to give, like you feel accomplished and it's like, ugh. Obviously to attain your goals, you're gonna have to put in that work. So that's why I'm like, being a stylist is probably not for me. Cause I, I just don't want to do that. <laughs> I like don't want to run around the city and I don't want to drop off and return and deal with budgets and deal with this ass don't work. I gotta go back and pick up the right size and take that. Unless the model wears my exact size and I can just pull from my own closet, baby, probably not. Or, or, <laughs> I would say I would be a stylist for a particular brand. Like if Balenciaga was like, sis, we want you to style for us, consult with us, whatever, whatever. Cool, our legacy, cool. Like I would love to work with one particular brand, but I don't know if this job actually exists, but that's probably ideal for me. Also, I would say probably like a style consultant. Like I can definitely consult. I can tell you which brands to go to if you're looking for a specific piece. Because I've worked for like so many brands to the point where it's like I can tell you if you're looking for a good loafer to go here, if you're looking for trips to go here, if you're looking for this to go there. So I feel like consulting would be also something that I'd be good at if I ever start taking myself seriously. The next question I have is favorite black owned brand slash designer at the moment at the moment i would say my favorite black owned brand which i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really like to say like my favorite black owned or white owned or swedish owned or whatever like i don't look at race if i'm honest when i'm buying things i know you know being black obviously if i can buy black and it does you know work with my aesthetic and we're aligned with my values and when it comes to fashion then definitely i would support it um but yeah i don't look at color if i'm i don't look at race if i'm honest when it comes to brands like i'm not the person that's gonna be like pound black owned because not all black owned businesses are good <laughs> to be quite honest not all any white any type of business is all good but um anyways my favorite black owned brand right now i would have to say is definitely winnie new york and it is by idris balogun who i I believe it's from Nigeria, but he makes his clothing all in New York. And I think that is exceptional um, going forth. And that's probably due to the brand that I work for currently, which is really big on ethical practicing when it comes to where their clothes are manufactured. Um, I'm, I'm starting to become really, really, really big on buying clothes that are either made in you know USA or Italy like I really don't want to buy made in China unless it's a Chinese brand you know what I'm saying or I don't want to buy made in Pakistan unless it's a Pakistan brand so I'm starting to become you know more and more big on that obviously it's a challenge because I'm not rich and I, I kind of want to go to Uniqlo sometime and pick up you know a little tabernacle or whatever but then it's like I feel guilty when doing that I'm just like you Sierra you should just invest or you should just thrift 
So that is solely what I want to practice in the year 2022 and going forth. Um, and that's what Wendy New York, they practice. Like I said, all of their clothes are made in the United States. And for the most part, they use fabrics of the earth. Like if you go to their uh, brand or if you click on a, a sweater, baby, it's either 100% silk, 100% wool, 100% cotton. And I freaking love that. I love brands that use mostly fabrics of the earth. It's okay if it's a little synthetic, but it shouldn't be mainly synthetic because then it's like, why am I spending hundreds of dollars on this for polyester? You know what I'm saying? I understand that there's different grades of polyester, like Comme des Garcons, for instance, uses a lot of polyester, but it's a high grade polyester. Um, but at the end of the day, like, still, I would prefer fabrics of the earth. I feel like they just breathe better on the body. Um, they flow better on the body. So yeah, that's my little spiel on that. And I say Whitney New York mainly because I wear my freaking trousers by Whitney New York so much, so much. Not because it's black on, but because they are just a practical pants. I get a lot of compliments on them when I wear them. They're wool, 100% freaking wool, and it's just a really nice freaking pants. Um, and I also own a, uh, it's not out, I also own a vest by Winnie New York, which is a little bit big for me, but I still freaking love to wear it on its own with my Winnie trousers or the little bottoms. So I would definitely say Winnie New York. When you get famous, am I invited to the cookout? Absolutely freaking yes, Ayo, what? Yes. Also, I'm going to be in London. Okay. Like I said, I'm doing a little Europe trip. I'm going to be in London this summer and I'm definitely going to hit you up because I need to know where the, the non-touristy vibes are. And when you coming out of hiding, I am never in hiding, honey. Never, ever, ever. Okay. If you need to reach me, email, DM, phone number. If you get my phone number, you can reach me there. And what are your ultimate goals as a creator? My ultimate goals is, as a creator, first and foremost, is to inspire others, is to uplift others, and to empower others. That is solely what I want to do here on my channel. Yeah. Do you like to express yourself in other creative forms? Absolutely, yes. I love expressing myself by dancing. I really love dancing. Um, it's therapeutic for me. I love listening to music and dancing. Obviously, I have to dance to something, which is music typically. And yeah, I just have a really good time when I dance. I really let loose and I just let my body do what it do and just be moved by the music. So definitely that. Favorite piece cop in 2021 slash my most regretful piece of 2021. My Margiela cutoffs is definitely my favorite piece from 2021. I might have purchased them in 2020 or in a 2020. I'm not sure, but I think I purchased them in 2021. So definitely my Margiela cutoffs. I wear them all the freaking time. My most regretful piece, and it's probably not even that regretful, but I would say probably my Bottega BV mules. And that's mainly because I feel like I could have gotten them in a size bigger. And also, and I would say, use me as an example, y'all. I got the Bottega BV mules because and I was telling you guys in the beginning, I want to start implementing more feminine pieces and more like heels and stuff, especially if they're comfortable. I find that Bottega heels are so freaking comfortable. Also, more importantly, I don't feel like I really have the pieces in my wardrobe to really go with those mules. So I don't wear them as much. So I find that now I'm having to, I feel the need to like buy more pieces to wear with the heels, which I feel like if you feel like the need to buy more just for one particular item, you probably shouldn't get it. You probably should just buy shoes that, you know, go with the pieces in your wardrobe. What question do you wish you were asked more? Um, this also got me thinking, cause I'm like, damn, that's a really good question. And all I could come up with was, how are you? And a how are you that is actually meaningful? Um, I don't know, I'm a cancer. And when I ask people, how are you? Like I work at a store for instance, and I always ask people like, how are you? Like I genuinely mean like, how are you? I'm not saying spill your whole life out, but you know, if you're having a bad day or whatever, like maybe I'll know to hand you with care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I feel like, I'm not asked that question enough because I'm always looked at as the strong friend or the strong sister or whatever you, it may be. Like, I don't feel like people really ask me how I'm doing. No, I'm just playing. It's not that severe, but yeah. What's the thing that made you go, yep, fashion is gonna be a big part of my life? Um, I would say probably when, I've always been working in fashion since I was like retail, I guess you could say, but 
it's still fashion. Like I, I got my first retail job when I was like 17 or 18 and I was working at Abercrombie for kids. And yeah, from there I was just like, first off I was like really good at working in retail, like talking to people and you know, really just selling and yeah. So I'm like, okay, this is something that I enjoy doing. It's easy for me and I make really good money doing it. So from there I've had multiple retail jobs, but Probably I would say when I went to college, I went to college and I studied to be a nurse, y'all. <sighs> if anybody's watching my channel and you are 18 or you know, you just about to start college, I would definitely say be true, be real with yourself. I know you got mama and dad like down your throat. Like my dad was down my throat. Like, no, you need to get a real job. And I understand what parents are coming from. Like you need to get a real job, be a doctor or a lawyer, but at the end of the day, you're setting your child up to be miserable if you're pushing them to be in a field that is guaranteed money. No, what I think is, I, what I think my parents have done for me per se is push me into the direction that my passion was. My passion has always been fashion, always. In school, I wasn't even thinking about homework. I was thinking about what I was gonna wear first for the next day of school and then I was thinking about my homework. Like, Fashion has always been a part of my life. I think that it's just always been on the back burner for me because I'm just like, this is fun for me. You know, fashion is fun for me. Style is fun for me. Um, putting on clothes is fun for me. So I was just like, a job can't be fun. Like this isn't a job, but really in our reality, your job should be fun. You should love what you do. So I feel like once I figured out like nursing wasn't for me, I literally flunked out. Literally, I cringe at the sight of blood y'all. Like, cringe i would say i definitely decided like after that like nah i think i'm gonna stick with fashion and for me it's been retail and it's been youtube so and both have been working out really well for me i can't complain um i like where i am right now i appreciate where i am right now i'm the type of person where i believe i am where i'm supposed to be at all times try not to wish i was at a different place or or anything like that because I feel like what's meant to happen is gonna happen. What are some things that currently keep you entertained? Well, I have a dog, so definitely my dog Dasha, who I love so freaking much, who keeps peeing in the house, y'all. If y'all have any freaking recommendations on how to keep her from peeing in the house, please let me know. What is your opinion on Rick Owens' Dark Shadow? I've talked about this on my channel before. I think that dark shadow is good for clothes. Like I would definitely buy like dark shadow, like t-shirts, joggers, all that type of stuff. But mainly I would say all I own personally is Rick Owens main line because I just feel like there's no labels, there's no, you know, stars, there's no nothing on it. It's typically fabrics of the earth. So like silk or visco blend or wool or cotton, which is what I love. And I think the same thing is with Dark Shadow too. It is the same thing with Dark Shadow. And I know this because I worked at uh, Rick Market Week for like a month and I just got to be really up close with all of the fabrics and all of like the clothing for like the comic collections. And I got to see that it's not really a main difference between quality wise between Dark Shadow and Rick Owens mainline clothing. Um, which I feel like Dark Shadow is kind of like a diffusion line for Rick Owens. Like if you don't know what a diffusion line is, it's like basically you have Ralph Lauren and then you have Polo. Like Polo is typically cheaper and it's typically like more trendy looking than like maybe main label Ralph Lauren. So, but Rick Owens though, I feel like it's different because Dark Shadow is still made in Italy. It's not really, like I said, a um, difference in quality. But what I will say when it comes to shoes, I would definitely, definitely say you should probably go with just mainline Rick Owens shoes. I mean, especially because it's not that much more expensive than the Dark Shadow. Like, Dark Shadow is not cheap. Like, it's not cheap. But, like, for instance, the Ramones, like, I wouldn't do the Dark Shadow Ramones because they're canvas and typically canvas, I mean, you can see, like, you know how you get the little white line on them if you, like, step in a puddle or something like that or snow. Like, my Rick Owens Ramones, my leather ones, I've had for going on four and a half, five years now. And... When I tell you I wear them in rain, they're actually, they've been my go-to rain boot up until I got my Rick Owens tractor boots. My Rick Owens Ramones has been my go-to rain boot, go-to snow boot for literally the past three or four years because I feel like, shit, it works. <laughs> like, it works. Um, actually, the sole is not meant for the snow, so I didn't wear it on, like, super snowy days, but it can work if, you know, you tipped up. Mainly, I'm saying leather, obviously, ages better than canvas, and I feel like, 
longevity wise you know quality wise leather is better than cotton canvas when it comes to a shoe anyway so yeah that's my little spiel on that also like the other like dark shadow shoes i don't know i'm just not a fan i feel like they a little bit too trendy looking for my liking especially where rick is now anyway like uh like i and it's funny because i was talking to this guy on my instagram live and he was saying like people be saying like oh like rick is super hyped up like everybody's wearing rick and you know so the rick heads is like kind of mad that it's like a super trendy thing now but he brought up a point of like that's kind of like gatekeeping like who are you to say like everybody can't wear rick you know so from that aspect i'm like i get it but also i'm like damn i kind of like to wear things that everybody wasn't wearing but now everybody is wearing rick thanks to the city girls and the jada archives and whatever the day names is yeah um next question caught me so off guard actually no it didn't because i've gotten this before but are you a lesbian and if so do you like the femme or tomboy type i'm gonna finish this wine on that one so if i'm if i'm gonna keep it a buck I can't say if I'm a lesbian or not. I don't know if I'm a lesbian or not because I've never even kissed a girl. I have never done anything. I've never had anything besides a platonic relationship with a female or a woman. I kind of grew up in a, um, not kind of, I grew up in a Christian household, like Orthodox Christian household. My grandmother only wears skirts and um, I stayed with her for most of my childhood. Um, and she was really, really against, her and my grandfather were really, really against lesbians and all lgbtq so i grew up like that with that thinking but not really because i've always had gay friends my first ever friend was a gay male and i just i've always been the type of person where i'm like i don't whoever you like don't got nothing to do with me so you can like what you like just as long as you're a good person like i we can be friends or whatever but on the contrary what i will say is I've had a maybe a good handful of women that have tried to like talk to me and either DM or in like real life and it always catches me off guard because I'm like wait what like what like me you like me tell me your favorite item my favorite item damn that's a heart okay obviously my favorite item would have to be my MM6 Margiela tote because I wear it all the freaking time my create freedom ring my all blues bracelet and my Sophie Buhai earrings because those are the pieces that I literally wear all the freaking time. Do you have any tips for shopping on the real real? Yes, I used to work at the real real. I can now say that because I no longer work there. But um, I would say that if you're looking at a particular item, especially if it's expensive, do not hesitate to call a real real. Okay, they open up two stores I think a year, and if you don't have one within your neighborhood. If you call them, they can actually tell you where the item is located. Like I would have people call like, oh, can you tell me where this item is located? And I'd be like, okay. Because from their end, they can see the location. So they can tell you, oh, this is in Seattle. Or, oh, this is in our store. Would you like to see pictures? So I would say if you're, you know, hesitant on the item, check out where it is and ask a sales associate if it's at their store, can you get pictures of it? Also to, you know, see where an item is located yourself. You can also refine the, what is it? You can also like refine the location. Like if you want to see what was all at the Madison store location, or if you want to see what, what was all at the Soul store location. Therefore, you can be like, okay, you can literally call the Soul store and be like, this item right here, can you send me pictures? And they will literally send you pictures. So, especially if you call during the week, I would not say call on like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because they probably will be busy and they're probably like, yeah, I'm gonna send you pictures and never call you back again. <laughs> that was me anyway, first, that was me. But if you call on like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, especially in like the morning time, or like when they first open, typically they don't have nothing else to do, we be standing around, I would say that's a good time to call and be like, yo, can you send me pictures of this time? You know, yeah, so that. Where can I find a Margiela picture? On Google, if you type in a picture of Martin Margiela, this picture will probably pop up and I would say it's probably credible. I've seen other YouTubers also use this photo. If you know anything about Martin Margiela, then you know that he wasn't the type of designer to be, you know, in the limelight. He was very much so 
Mary Kate and Ashley before Mary Kate and Ashley. So yeah. And I love that about him. That's another reason why I love Margiela, mainly because of him. Because I feel like I'm that type of person too. I kind of want to remain a enigma to people. Although I'm a YouTuber, but if you meet me in real life, it makes sense. And my favorite streetwear brands, my cousin asked this question. What's up, cousin? Um. All right, y'all, so this video is now coming to a close. I have now answered all of the questions that you guys gave me on Instagram. If you'd like to see a part two or if you have questions that you'd like to ask me, please, please, please let me know down in the comments. If I get more than like five questions, I'll do a part two. But if it's like two or three, I'll probably just answer you down in the comments. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, smash that like button and I will see you in my next one. Peace.